Yo, Master Custodian back. EP4. Let's hop right back into it. Last left off. It's a bit of a shootout. Uh, Garrus, this is the man we want to talk to. Alright, but come on, Dick. Put, put your weapon up. Just chill out. Let's holler at Garrus. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Mm, let me see. Shaggy props. Nice shot. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Uh, let me see something. Hold up, guys. Just trying to make sure my volume's all the way up. Alright, uh, we can protect you. Uh, let's not lie to her. Who are those men? Tell me what happened. Um, who were those men? Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? Right. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Okay, she was about to get fisted. Um, okay, what about Saren? Let's inquire about this Quarian. Is there like another race? What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. Hmm. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Let's see, where'd she go? Let me see, go on. Then what? All right. I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Feast betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. Anything else? Evidence. I think that's what this is about, evidence. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren, or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Let me see. We don't have anything yet. But Fist has her. Let me see, we need to find her. We do. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Uh, okay, forget it. Why do you hate Saren? Because you guys were, are the same race, so what's the beef? You're a Turian. Right. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. He meant that. Um, you made your case. Welcome aboard, Garrus. Right on. <laughs> you no, know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. Right, saw him earlier. Okay, um, yeah, okay, that's what Ashley just said. We saw him in the bar. Um, hey, I believe in definitely getting to using people to make this shit work so we could use them. A Krogan might come in handy. Exactly. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Let's head back out to the CSEC Academy. It said his name was Rex. Let's see, I upgraded my pistol. Because if I want to upgrade the shotgun, which is real nasty, I have to upgrade the pistol. Okay, so it's just a view. Citadel travel. I don't think I'm trying to travel. I think I'm trying to go to the CSEC Academy. Which is this way, actually, because we went to it by mistake earlier. Wait a minute. 
matter. Let's go to the Seasick Academy where we can pick up Rex. Rex might be a good addition to the team. Okay. This isn't even running. This is like some kind of weird jog. Not even that. It's like a close-up. Okay, I gotta take the elevator. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. That was a long ass elevator ride. Okay, where is Rex? Where are you at, Rex? Because you're probably going to be recruited to the cause. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? Sorry, guys. I had to put my cat out. He's rude as hell. Uh, do I know you, human? Uh, shit, you will. My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. Uh, right. Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. Right. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Hmm, I like that saying. So you'll join. I'm just going to tell him welcome aboard. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Damn straight. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Let's continue. Gotta go to Fist's bar. Pretty sure I'm lost again. Was in here last time. Oh, weapons locker. Oh, okay, I thought I could go in it. Alright, everybody, get in. We're going back to the wards. Me, Ashley, and this big ass monster. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, Serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance military on the extranet. Keyword, Courage. <laughs> Keyword, Courage. Hell no, I don't want to join. Alright, come on, guys. Okay, where are we? Okay, no go up this way. Okay, now who do we talk to? Or where are we going exactly? Where does this go? To Flux? What is Flux? I don't sell this mod. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Really? That's impressive. Usually you humans can't tell one Turian from another. This was the place! Now are you gonna give me a refund or not? Do you have your proof of purchase? What? No, no, I, I, I don't think you ever gave me one. I'm sorry, man. I can't help you. But, what, what do you... Can't help you. Hmm. I'm gonna check that out in a minute. 
Okay, so I can pick ward locations that I want to go to. Okay, before we do, let's see what's going on with those guys. Before we do. Here's somebody getting ripped off. Let's keep pulling my gun out. I don't know what um, game I'm thinking of with left. I think like the left trigger kind of uh, start, starts conversation. Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. Tough though. Okay, I guess that's just a private conversation. Ain't shit I can do about that. Uh, ward locations. Take me back to Chorus Den. Okay, see so our fast travel points. That exclamation point behind me? Why? Hold on, what's out there? Oh, this is Corbin with a gun. Okay, remember Jaleel was saying, was it Jaleel or Jaleed? Something like that. He was saying that uh, Corbin wanted to kill him. And he does happen to have a gun. Corbin. Does he really want to kill my mass? Let me see something. It might really get messy. Let's let's see. Hold it right there. Whoa. Just throw me the data and you can walk away. I ain't no okay, he said data. Who are you? Okay, I ain't no bitch, so I'm just gonna tell you to back down because you done put a gun on me. About to sling your ass into the wall. That's what's about to happen. That's Drop right. Drop your weapons now. I don't think so, human. Hmm. I'll ask you one more time. Give me the data, and you and Jalid will live to see another day. Okay. So, like I said, I knew there was more to this. Um. I guess Jaleed has something of his. Uh, let's talk. Oh, I got the shotgun out too. It's about to go down. You and Jaleed will live. I don't like the fact that it's a threat. Now, if he would have talked to me, maybe. But I don't like this threat. So I'm going to let him know from my dead body. Come and get it, Solarian. It'll be the last mistake you make. It will. Fine. Have it your way. Boys, enemy sighted. <laughs> uh, you finna get thrown. Okay, my shit overheated. Warp his ass. Go put the pistol on. Okay, we're the last one. Wait, I give up. I give up. Please don't kill me. You know what? Too fucking bad. Sorry. I can't put my gun away until the job is done. No! Look! Jaleed can have the data. I don't want it. Not if it means I'm gonna die. So why is this data so valuable? Exactly. I thought you knew. He said you were gonna deliver it. He said that. And what exactly was I supposed to be delivering? Right, what the fuck? It's the initial data from scanning the keepers. You see, we stole some research from our work to make the scanners. We were supposed to work together. I get the data, he analyzes it. Is this the guy from earlier who was checking the keepers, or...? Okay, so... I'm not sure I follow. That's it? Like I'm telling them so... What's so special about that? Right. The keepers are almost impossible to scan. And you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. 
After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. Angelique? There's more to this, because, I mean, why would you just straight up draw down on me? That doesn't explain why you're trying to kill your partner. Right. I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. Huh. I should kill both of you idiots. Right. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. But it doesn't matter now. I just want to live. I don't care if I ever see that data again. Should I tell his ass, get out of here. Good. Go. Or should I let him know that he's not leaving? You're not leaving. Don't worry. You won't. Nobody attacks me and walks away. What? No. No, Please. sir. <laughs> Fuck. And now where is Jaleel or Jaleel? Cause he might fuck around and get his ass murdered too. Damn idiots. Alrighty. Don't attack me. Yeah, he fucked up. Looks like it's shut down. This knows we're coming. He's about to go the fuck down in there. Get back. Okay. Okay, we're still in it, still in it. Just have to throw his ass. Okay, good throw, good throw. Uh, let's see. Okay, he already used that. He used this. Adrenaline burst. And let me take. Up. Right. There's more. Of course, there's more. Let me get that cover. shooting. Oh, wait a minute. Can I warp him? Okay, and Rex, you need to do something to him too. Uh, Rex, warp him. My shoot, my shooting's ass, but I got the job done. Okay, we're not done here, though. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Big stay ready. Whoa. Okay, good shot. Whoever took that shot. Didn't know this guy was over my head like that. Good shot. Get him. Okay, got his ass. Okay. Shepard coming in for the kill. Coming in for the kill. You wet. Let me get in there. A little closer. Get your ass back. Shepard's a fucking monster in these streets. Okay, so we fucked everybody up. We're going to keep the shotgun out because I think it's going to be some close quarters. Look out! Stop right there! 
Don't come any closer. Let's come out, man. Cause if I come in. I told you that your ass if I come in. Okay, throw recharging. Can he throw by any chance? Uh, okay, warp him. Okay, yeah, warp him. I'm gonna warp him too. Okay, I think we took him out. Clear. Okay, we're clear. Oh, there's more. All right, Shepard, get down, get down. All right, it's creeping in here. It's creeping. In. Whoa! I didn't. I swear, I, I didn't see my man's at first. I didn't see him. I did not see him. Okay. What? Okay. What do we, what do we got? What are we working with? Okay. Switch weapons. Uh, what's he using? Okay, he can use a lancer. Okay. But I guess he likes the close up. I'm not mad at that. There we go. Wait! Don't kill me, I surrender. Let me see. Start talking. Tell me where the quarryian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. Right, she's you down. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the quarryian is, but I know where you can find her. The quarryian isn't here. Said you'd only deal with the shadow broker himself. Face to face, impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. We have to save her. You son of a bitch. Uh, where's the meeting at? Give me the location. Now. Get his ass there. in the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Drop the gun, Krogan. The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. Uh, he surrendered. Never do that again. He deserved it. Fuck it. I'm cool. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that Quarian. Right, I don't care. You did what you had to do, bro. Um. Oh, damn. There's a time limit. Okay, what weapon do I have? Okay, come on, guys. There's a time limit. Oh, damn, his ass is behind there. Uh. Whoever had my back, good looking. But I did just kind of run out there. Can I throw him? Can I throw him? Can I throw him? Can I catch him for the throw? Uh uh, wait a minute. Get a better shot at him. Get your ass up. Now how do we get to her? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Okay, we ran out of here. Uh, where is this girl at? Okay, come on, come on. Right, right, that's Cora's den. Uh, okay, she's in the lower markets. Is that what they said? Is that where we need to go? Okay, this door won't open. Okay, so maybe that's not where she's at. 
Okay, she must not be there then. Can we go through here? Open, open, open. Open, open, open. Okay, where is this girl? Where is she? Where is she? Okay, that's it. That's her right there. Um, you know, we're gonna start. We're gonna start off heavy. Give my shotgun. Give my shotgun. That's Did just said assassin. Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Rub it on her and shit. Still in it. Still in it. Hold up. Uh, let's put the Kessler on. We're still down there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. Okay, I think Rex handled it. Cause I had to get back for a second. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Um. Shit, I took care of him. Don't worry about Fist. He got what was coming to him. Exactly. Then I guess there are two things I need to thank you for. Who are you? Um, a friend. I'm with the Alliance. Uh, I'm someone who just saved your life, basically. Savior. I don't have time for questions. I need the evidence you have against Saren. Right. I guess I owe you. But not out here in the open. We need to go somewhere safe. The Ambassador's office. It's safe there. I want to see this anyway. Hmm. So we're going straight to the place. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many? Who's this? A quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Uh, she can help us. Just doing my job. I like that, just doing my job. You wanted proof Saren's a traitor. This is it. Any means necessary. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Uh, what about... S but I am curious, though. I've never heard of this before. Right. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Something of value? What's considered valuable? What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. That's, that's, that's kind of dope, actually. I like that. Uh, what about Saren, though? What kind of evidence did you find? How did you get it? During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. Uh, maybe she knows some. Go on. What did you find out? Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Okay, that's kind of what I was wondering. What's the conduit? 
He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the Conduit. Any idea what that means? The Conduit must have something to do with the Beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Mm. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Ah, oh, shit. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. You see Reapers? Where are they? Reapers? Sounds familiar. Yeah, let's, let's ask, what are, are they? Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. She's right. It's true. It's not far-fetched. See, it's not far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. See, they need to know. Will they believe it? Don't tell them. No, they need to know. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. Hmm. The captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian. My name is Tolly. <laughs> you saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. Uh, you could be useful. Join us. You're not ready for this. Uh, what about what about your quest? I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. Sounds like you're very mature already, young lady. You could be useful. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Alright, we did some upgrades. Let's get back to it. So, I guess we're about to nail Saren. Do you like it? What is this? I swear I thought I was doing that right. I guess not. Uh. Okay, let's look around. Okay, this is a gentleman from... Where is Jaleed? I'm going to holler at him before I go. He's in Seasick Academy. Is there any way to get to him? Are you to lead? Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Batia. Name sounds familiar. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Batia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. Uh, what is it? A lot of people want my help these days. What makes you special? <laughs> my wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Mm. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. That's a girl. Narali was a good woman. 
What can we do for you? you I've never... requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Did they say why you can't have your wife's body? Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll put this right. I'll find out. This is pointless. I'll find out. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Poor fella. He said he was at the expensive bar. Huh. So some asshole probably. Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Who are you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? Why'd he say it like that? How do you feel about humans? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. Right. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get. And you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. I like how he's just openly kind of racist with it. Like, eh. It's kind of don't fuck with y'all like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Spectres. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. You don't like Spectres? What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Hmm, bit naive, don't you think? Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. Right. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? Get his ass out of here. 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. Oh, shit. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres. They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. See, that's why I want to become a specter so I could just do what the fuck I want and feel like it's necessary. Mm. Do I want to say they're important? Maybe specters are important then. I'm, I'm starting to feel it. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. Damn right. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a specter, the council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? Hmm. It's interesting. If I want, I could just drop the conversation, just tell his ass goodbye. I could tell him no. Or if he gets the job done. Now, mind you, I try to take on the role of the characters I created. Let's keep in mind that Dickie is ruthless by any means necessary. So I'm going to tell him if he gets the job done. Absolutely. The only thing that matters is accomplishing the task. Maybe. But I've never had to cross that line to get the job done. Never. This wasn't a bad exchange, really. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. How 
Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? Um, sure, why not? What have you got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? I thought you were saving drinks. Hell no. Goodbye. All right. Believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she wouldn't. She'd be talked at the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. <laughs> she's... she's... You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk? I didn't say that. Ha! <laughs> I bet you did too. Shut up, Fredericks. We might check that conversation out in a minute, but first, let's holler at this guy. He's a point of interest. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Damn right Your I am. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Uh, let's see. I'm here for Samesh. I hope so. Stop stealing corpses. I'm here for Samesh. Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Batya died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batya no doubt told you. Okay. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. So she's being mauled. You're running text. Test. Let's see, she's toxic? Okay, so you guys are running tests on her then? You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Mm. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Now, see, <coughs> if I would have upgraded my um, intimidation more, I think I, or even my charm, I think it would unlock that dialogue. Uh, this isn't right. Investigate. I'm releasing the body. I'll pass this on. Samish should hear this. I see your point. I'll tell Mr. Bachi about this. It might make it easier for him to understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Okay, let's holler him again. Like, hey, you might not be getting that body back. Might not be getting her back. Okay, I want to go back because I do want to see what this Private Fredericks guy was talking about. What were him and his boys chuckling about? Sound like they were talking about a winch too. Uh, Fredericks. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Calm down, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? Heh, <laughs> look how my dude looking at him like, hey, what? Get on, dick! What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. <laughs> you never went to see her, did you, Private? I, uh... No, I never did. <sighs> I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. What the fuck y'all talking about? Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. I thought they was really talking about something over here. Um... I gotta stop doing it. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Excuse me. Finally, I fucking got one. My health a little on the low low. Oh, girl? Hey. Human delight. 
delighted. Welcome. It is good to meet you. I like the elf cores. They they so chill. I fuck with them. They just a chill ass bunch. Okay, let's see here. Where we at? Where we at? Take me to the C sec, cause I want to talk to Chalid ass. Like, what happened? I had to smoke your boy. So if they give me the option to smoke him too, it's only right. I want to holler at Jaleed's ass. Like, what happened back there? Hey, I'm at to kill Jaleed. He ain't even tell me. So I walk. About to walk into death. What guns are you trained in? Okay, no pistol, pistol and shotgun. Okay. Is he in here? Cause it's about to go down, possibly. You set me up, Delete. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? He's dead. I killed him. And I've come back for you. But I didn't do anything to you. What about the Keeper data? Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. Maybe if you would have asked... You're in trouble. This is serious, Jaleed. You could spend the rest of your life locked up. But I can't. What will happen to the data when I'm gone? Who will carry on our research? It's a shame, but you should have considered the consequences before you acted. Tell us this. But this data could be used to unravel all the secrets of the Keepers. Think what we could learn about the Citadel. Go on. Explain. I don't care. I can't let your actions go unpunished. No, please. I'll do anything. I've got credits. Let me go and you can have them. All of them. What's going on over here? Is this Volus causing you some trouble, Commander? Damn, I can get his ass thrown away, huh? Uh, definitely, yes. We fine. I can handle this shit by myself. Everything's okay, officer. Thanks for asking. If you say so. I'll be right over here if you change your mind. Get out of here, bro. Thank you. That was too close. Now you can return the favor by filling up my bank account. Oh, right. There you go. That's just about everything I've got. Thank you for not turning me in. I'll make the most of this second chance, I promise you. Fine. Good. Whatever. I just wanted to squeeze you right quick. Shake down. Just go. Get your ass out of here. Um, Commander? Would you be interested in helping me study the Keepers? Cause I know he can't kill me. What do you need me to do? Just take this scanner. Every time you see a keeper, scan it. Whenever you get a unique scan, I'll reimburse you. That's it. Good luck and so long. He didn't give me a lot, though. Wish there was an option I could have murdered his ass, but whatever. Okay, where's the fast travel so we can go where we need to go? We 
Lakers. Then we gave an option to Marcus. Uh, well, Chubby ass went to Fridays earlier. I got like a chicken and broccoli tortellini. That shit was good. I still got some. Might have to go polish the rest of that off. Y'all arguing? Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? No. Having trouble? What's the problem? What are you doing? Let's ask what the problem is. What's going on here? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. E Kindlers. Who are the Enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raised the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. Um. Can't you just. Okay, what's the legality of preaching? What is my guy gonna say? So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden, and preaching anywhere on the Citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the Enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. Hmm. Can't you just purchase a permit, though? If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? Right. The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. Wow. Okay, it even deals with religion. Um, should I tell him to just get his ass out of here? Because I don't want to help, per se. Um, let me see what I can let do. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful for the assistance. Please let this one know if success is achieved. Okay, let me highlight this guy. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Mm. Okay, now what's the problem from your point of view? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Mm. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. Uh, What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Right. Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. <laughs> mm. Wow, and it's crazy because this is so relevant. And it'd be shitty to like arrest him for his religious beliefs. Um Wow. Leave him alone. If you can't solve this problem, you don't even deserve to be in C-Sec. I didn't ask for your help, human. 
I can deal with this myself. Ah, maybe it's just best to let them deal with that. Uh, take me to the Citadel Tower. Okay, saving. I think this is where we need to be. Yeah, in fact, I see the exclamation point at the top of the stairs. This is where we need to be. I have to talk to you. <laughs> Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. All right, let's nail him. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I wonder what they got to say this time. Wanted proof. There it is. Udin, like, yeah. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. Good. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Another traitor. <laughs> she must be working with the Geth, too. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. You see, the Geth revere them. Saren's bringing them back. That's why they follow Saren. Just like Tupac. Saren's bringing them back. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? See, not yet. Does it matter? It's obviously trouble. Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Exactly. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. The Reapers are real. Don't be a fool. You doubted me before, and look where we are now. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. I've seen them. Can't you understand? I'm just gonna tell his ass. You're wrong. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Let him know, Dick. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. At all. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region. Keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. So you'll do nothing? Same old story. Send me? Guaranteed did get the job done. I can take Saren down. There you the go. The commander's Dick. right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. Quit holding us back. I'm ready. It's the best solution. I mean, what else are you gonna do? You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Exactly. This guy's sharp. Commander Shepard, step forward. Uh, shit, I had to sit there again. Oh, 
people. Okay, yep. Ascension. Y'all see it. Promotion. About to happen. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Mm -hmm. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first like human the Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Uh, should I be a dick and say about time? What happens now? Or thank you. Okay, what happens now? What's my first mission? Exactly. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. You are authorized to use any means necessary. I'm ready. I'll find him. This meeting of the council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. Thank you, sir. You've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. Mm, I don't blame him, figures. It's no big deal. He's got a lot on his mind. Come on. Right behind you, Commander. Spectre bonus. Spectre training, charm, and intimidate talents unlocked. Okay. Come on, girls. So they're talking about giving me a ship, a crew. I'm gonna need some other shit. Hello, Commander. Not Has yet. Any... I'll be back when I have more Thank to tell. You. They built a lake on... Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? Okay, they're running tests. They're running medical studies on Norelli. That's why they... Yes, were... you told me as much. I don't care what the military wants for her. My wife finished her service when she gave her life on Eden Prime. It is time for her to come home. We'll fix this. I'll work on it. I'm done with this. I'm about to tell his ass this is war. Samesh, right now more people are going to die unless the military runs those tests. This isn't about them. This is about my wife, the woman the military killed. Uh, lives are at stake. Wake up, Samesh. The military didn't kill her. The Geth killed your wife. And they'll kill a lot more if we don't run those tests. You think I've not given enough? Don't speak to me of duty. My wife is dead. Yes, she is, Mr. Batia. She died fighting for what she believed in. Exactly. She sacrificed her life to keep you safe. I think she'd want to make the most of that sacrifice. You're right, Miss Williams. She would not flinch from her duty. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. Poor fella. Happy Ashley was here to kind of smooth that out, though. Let's keep running around. Figure out where to go. Hey, I'm a specter now. So they finally did it. 
I knew one of your kind would make Spectre one day. Yeah. I only hope you're better than the one they're sending you after. Damn right I am. I'll do whatever it takes to stop Saren. Hmm. That's what worries me. Was there something you wanted? Uh, no, I'll just let you know. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Take me to see sec. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Seasick. Okay, this goes to the docking bay. Do I need to go to the docking bay? It gives me an option. Let's check it out. In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. Oh, shit. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. He gonna murk his ass. Slap him around a few times. Take his picture. Dude, just stretching and shit. Okay, let me out of here. Hopefully this is the spot. Yes, it is. Alright, uh... Guess I'm talking to you, Dina. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. Uh, what's going on? Force retirement. Treat her well, Commander. Uh, I want to know. This isn't right. The Normandy belongs to you. You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. I feel like there's more to this. But he's being cool about it, so I'm going to be cool about it. Uh, any word on Saren? What kind of leads do we have? All right. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The Conduit. He's got his geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Ferros and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Okay, Ferros and Noveria. Uh, is that it? Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Okay, so should I go to Pharos? Should I go there or to Neveria? Damn, I have to remember some of these names. Shit. I think they said that Saren was possibly last seen in Novaria. Uh, I forgot what's in Pharos. But maybe I'll start there. Because they said her daughter might be there. Of the other chick. And she's supposed to be powerful. 
So, hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot all. Oh, what they say it was here again? And then I could probably go wherever the hell I want. I'll just tell them I'm going to start there. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. Artemis Tau. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. Damn right. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. Yeah, be careful. It might be necessary. That's your job. I mean, it might be necessary. I'll do whatever it takes to stop Saren. Damn That's right. exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. He ain't even say bye. Uh, can I just get on the ship? Damn, I think I can get on the ship. Oh, damn, there's the ship over here. Yeah, so I could just get on it, huh? Uh, let me holler at you, Anderson. Yes, Commander. Um, yeah, I gotta pass you and Saren. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me, and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. See why hide this? You lied to me. What happened? I think I deserve the whole story. Come on, man. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. See, something went wrong. Something obviously went wrong. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Right. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. Was anyone hurt? That's a little extreme. She, good plan. Hey. He was smart. You needed a diversion. This went way beyond a simple diversion, command. The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. <laughs> Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Now, how did you get blamed, exactly? Saren caused the explosion. How did he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Let's see, forget about the past. Um, it wasn't your fault. It's not fair. Yeah, forget about the past. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. Damn right. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. Um. Okay, I can ask about all the places. Good. Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? It's a colony. The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruins now. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. Okay. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. Hmm. T 
Tell me about the Artemis Tau Cluster. What do you know about the Artemis Tau Cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean Ruins. And Novaria. What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Mm -hmm. Watch your back there, Shepard. Spectres are about the only form of citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. Okay, so I might get blasted going to Novaria. Okay, it seems like Novaria is going to be a dangerous area. So I'm probably better off starting with Pharaohs or the Artemis Tau Cluster. Now, Pharaohs... I think he said um, not a lot of colonies out there. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. All right. It's been real, Captain Anderson. Get on my ship. Enter Normandy. Okay, you know what, guys? Um, I think I'm ended here for this particular episode. I believe this was episode four of Mass Effect. So when we come back, we are going to enter the Normandy. Been on the Normandy before, but it's kind of different because it's actually ours this time. So. I can't wait, man. We're going to come back, get on the ship, and explore space. So I wonder how that is. I wonder, is the space exploration fast travel, or do they have like some Assassin's Creed 4 shit where you're just kind of just going everywhere? I mean, Assassin's Creed 4 also had the fast travel, but that's after you travel to the location. Good exploration on that game. Uh, you guys played Assassin's Creed 4. Um, I'm not even sure what I'm talking about. Assassin's Creed wasn't my favorite out of the series, but the boat exploration, amazing. I love it. Um, but anyway, like I said, we're going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, I appreciate the cleaning crew stopping by, kicking it with me. Uh, I'm going to get these videos uploaded because I think this is like the fourth episode, but I haven't really started uploading the videos yet. I have to, I want to see how I want to edit them because I'm probably going to have to, I guess, do some trimming with the videos because there's certain parts of the video where I'm just running around and I'm just completely lost. But we're going to hook it up. Uh, in the meantime, cleaning crew, I would appreciate it if you guys were to share 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 and share some more um you know you guys can definitely hit me up on twitter i also do shares and retweets but until then we're going to end it here and when we come back we will be on episode five and we'll be a space captain all right cleaning crew as usual i appreciate you guys for stopping by this is the master custodian and i highlight you guys in a minute I think I'm finna go downstairs and eat that chicken and broccoli tortellini I got for Friday today. That shit was amazing. Uh, if I'm not too full, maybe I will come back and maybe we'll get an episode. What episode? An episode five in. And if not, I'm gonna at least try to get some uploads to you guys. So until then, Master Custodian out. Peace.